very warm greetings from NU Hospital, Bangalore. Translating the two-dimensional information on a fluoroscopy screen to a live three-dimensional needle puncture during PCNL can be challenging to teach and to learn. The following video attempts to clarify this concept. So what do we see on the fluoroscopy screen? It is important to understand that the image we see is the shadow of the needle falling on the shadow of the calyx. Let me start with the triangulation technique. Let us first see what happens when your C-arm is at zero degree with the needle pointing at the correct depth. Remember, what we are interested in is the relationship between the tip of the needle and the edge of the calyx. As you will see the needle move to reach the edge of the calyx, the shadow of the needle will touch the edge of the shadow of the calyx. Unfortunately, if you keep the C-arm only at zero degrees, you get the exact same image if the needle reaches superficial to the calyx or if it reaches deep. The obvious solution to this problem is that you turn the C-arm at a different angle to assess the depth. In this video, I am turning the C-arm 30 degrees towards the surgeon. Remember that the 30 degrees is arbitrary and you can get similar information at lesser angles also. Let us assume you are at the correct depth. Once the needle has reached the edge of the calyx correctly and you turn the C-arm towards the surgeon, you will see that the tip of the needle will continue to point at the edge of the calyx. Here, the needle has reached the edge of the calyx at zero degree. When we turn to 30 degrees, the needle is again pointing at the edge of the calyx. Therefore, we are at the correct place. If the needle tip is superficial to the calyx, once you turn from zero to 30, the shadow of the needle tip will fall on the body of the calyx. And the needle will appear to have crossed the edge of the calyx on the fluoroscopy screen. If you look at the zero degree image, the needle has reached the edge of the calyx, but at 30 degrees, it appears to have crossed beyond the edge of the calyx. Therefore, this needle is superficial to the calyx. When the needle tip reaches deep to the calyx, some of the X-ray beams will escape between the calyx and the tip of the needle. On the fluoroscopy screen, this appears as though the needle has not reached the edge of the calyx. In this image, the needle has reached at zero degrees, but not at 30 degrees, meaning the needle is deep. Now, let us talk about the end on technique. Here, we start by placing the needle on the skin pointing towards the edge of the calyx. The C-arm angle is then manipulated in both the craniocaudal and the mediolateral planes so that the shadow of the needle is seen as a round hub sitting on the edge of the calyx. As you puncture and move the needle deep, this relationship must be maintained on the fluoroscopy screen. If you are trying an end-on puncture and you can see the stem of the needle on the fluoroscopy screen, then you are pointing at the wrong target. This may be either superficial or it may be deep. As long as you understand these basic concepts, you can apply them in supine PCNL also. The rules remain the same. Thank you and warm greetings from NU Hospitals, Bangalore.